everybody. It's your host with the most familiar more giving you the daily dose. We're out and about in Pleasantville, New Jersey, and the subject of the day is obesity. Brian McKinney of the Minnesota Vikings decided to have his friends get together and bring attention to a most serious subject that is affecting all of the United States. He said, let me get all my friends together. Let's throw a basketball game. Let's have Pleasure P from Atlantic Records and Swagger Entertainment, and let's make an event of it. That's all I got to tell you. You don't want to go anywhere. You want to keep it right here, because we've got so much more for you. It's all about obesity. Get your workout on. I'm in the gym. I'm going to put on my sneakers, and I'll be right back. Bye. What's up, everybody? It's your host with the most. Now, we're here backstage with the, one of the sponsors for this evening of this afternoon's event, Alberto Parada. Welcome. Thank you. Now, Alberto, talk about your um, jewelry line because it's eco-friendly. What is that all about? Well, our line is handcrafted. It's manufactured locally, um, used in recycled metals. Um, after learning about the destruction is caused uh, by metal mining, I did a little bit more research and figured out how I could become eco-friendly in the fine jewelry business keep it fine jewelry and give it a, a new approach, um, eco-friendly approach basically. And we've found a company uh, in Virginia that works exclusively with recycled metals. So these all gold from the existing supply chain, broken chains, broken bracelets that have been melted down, refined and recycled into our line. Um, we also started doing history on, on stones, on diamonds, on gems, yeah, to make sure they're conflict-free. Yeah, talk about that, because a lot of people don't really understand what conflict-free diamonds are. And for those of you that like the bling, please be conscious with the bling Absolutely. thing. You know what I'm saying? Because there are communities that are hurting from us shining. So talk about that. Right. Um, I think the, the movie that really brought this to light was Blood Diamonds. Yeah. And it tells the story about uh, Sierra, Sierra Leone and how the diamonds were transported and how the funds from diamonds supported um, uh, militias and war and social in, in disparity. We have found a source where we can trace our diamonds so to know that they're conflict-free, um, as well as the gems, or fair trade gems, we know where they're mined, how the workers are being treated, and what is, uh, the effect is on the environment. Now talk about your design, because what I love about it is it's classic, but at the same time it's trendy. Right. Was that intentional? That was intentional. My idea was to have, um, not conservative jewelry, but I'd say traditional jewelry with a modern approach. The designs are bold, beautiful. Uh, the gems are a lot of color. I like to use a lot of color in my designs. Yeah. I come from South America where there's just, just a lot of color, you yes. know, and, and um, a lot of my gems come from Brazil, but they're all cut here locally. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the designs are inspired by European and South American designers. Green Fashion Week. I didn't even know this thing existed. How did you get involved with it? Well, there was a company out of Seattle called the Zella Company that somehow or another found me online for creating uh, eco-friendly designs. At that point, my line wasn't quite developed, but I was doing a lot of work for clients using their existing pieces. They would bring me family heirlooms or sentimental pieces, and they didn't want to give them away. So I was using their gold, their stones, and re recycling them and coming up with design. And I started marketing that, and this company found me and asked me to come out to Seattle and whether I'd be interested in designing a couple of pieces for the runway. Um, once I looked online and I saw some of the big designers that were there, like Oscar de la Renta, Laura Miller, I said, absolutely, I'll come out and I'll be happy to... Um, to support the cause as well. I donated a couple pieces for the show and uh, designed a few pieces for the runway. And that really was the start of my, uh, my approach, the whole thing, really. It just sort of developed from that uh, show. Let's talk about this fabulous piece right here. Now, you've just received an award for this, correct? I did. I, did. Um, I submitted this design six months ago to JCK Jewelers Choice, which is an award that's given out to best design, best necklace design, best ring design. And they present that to all the major retailers across the country and some across the world. And each owner, each buyer will vote on their design that they like the most. And we were fortunate enough to have uh, first place in uh, JCK and we got the award in Las Vegas uh, last month. Now is there a website or a store or anything like that so that people that are interested in your line can stay connected with you? Our website is www.albertoparada.com. We are in 15 major retail stores across the country from Hawaii to New York City. Um, you can find them all online. So for all you fashion forward folks, 
This is an affordable line that keeps your bling into a conscious thing. Till next time, it's your host with the most, Amelia is more. We'll be back with Daily Dose. That's right, it's your host with the most, Amelia is more, giving you the Daily Dose. As we spoke earlier, it's all about Bryant McKinney. Thank you so much for inviting us here to this celebrity basketball game. I mean, you are to be commended. Thank you for coming. I mean, it was got moved at the last minute from my high school down here. It gave us like two days, but I mean, it was still a good turnout, and um, everybody came out to support, um, you know, healthy kids and you know the schools and everything. So it came out good. Chick-fil-A sponsored. It, it turned out pretty good. I mean, they came out. They played real hard in the game too. That's funny. You know, it, the story that was told to me was that you know you were concerned about your high school and the obesity rate, and I know that it's a national epidemic, a silent killer really for our kids. I wanted you to talk about why you decided to do this. Because you know, a lot of kids are on the internet and they're playing video games. And you know, like when we were growing up, you, you went outside, you rode your bike, you were just outside until the street lights came on, you know what I mean? They don't go outside anymore. They're just stuck on computers and they're stuck on video games. And all they're doing is sitting, eating, and they're not being active. They're cutting gym classes out of some high schools and all that. So trying to encourage people to be healthy. So many athletes try to get into the entertainment game and they they don't really get that swag, you know what I say? <laughs> but you know, swag entertainment is really doing their thing. We had a chance to talk to um, Pretty Money, and of course, Pete did his thing. Talk about that. That was um, something me and Pete decided to do together, and he actually is our artist, our first artist of swag entertainment through Atlantic, distributed through Atlantic. So, I mean, that's our first artist. Hope he does good numbers, and swag entertainment is trying to become a movement, like the next major label soon. You know, I see it happening, you know. I also found out that you did a little business deal with Dave Mays. Big ups to my boys Dave Mays and Benzino. Hip Hop Weekly, if y'all don't know, you better know. <laughs> Talk about that, the compound? You know everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, I have um, a studio called The Compound in Aventura, Florida with Dave Mays and Benzino. And um, we go out there, you know, we rent our studio time and everything. You get to mix and master everything at, at the studio and it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, state of the art, SSL, that's what I'm talking about. Yes, we went and remodeled everything. You have um, a studio and then you actually have like an, a house or like an apartment where you can actually stay, you know what I'm saying, all in the same area. So it, it turned out pretty good. So all you artists with them fabulous budgets, you know where to go, the compound. Holla at your boy right there. Well, big man. <laughs> Brian McKinney, any other things that you want people to know about what you're doing, Brian, and how they can continue to support what you're doing? Well, I'm going to start doing it annually. So this is my first year, so it turned out pretty good. But next year, it'll be even better. You want to grow and grow each year. Um, go support the Pledge B album, the introduction to Marcus Cooper, and just pay attention for the swag entertainment movement. And make sure you buy them Minnesota fucking tickets. Yes. <laughs> that too. <laughs> <laughs> any last tips about you with next season in the game? Well, I hope we go to Miami. I want to go to the Pro Bowl and the Super Bowl because they're both from Miami this year, so I don't have to travel. <laughs> well, there you have it. It's your host with the most, hanging out with the man of the hour, Brian McKinney. Till next time, make sure you get your daily dose. Giving you the daily dose. G -g Giving you the daily dose. That's right, we're back, and we're here with Beth, the marketing director for Chick-fil-A. Now, Chick-fil-A decided to sponsor this event. Can you tell why it's a priority for them? Absolutely. Um, well, we believe in everything Brian McKinney um, stands for. Um, with the nutrition, um, just being brought to the front of awareness for kids. So Chick-fil-A has a lot of nutrition, um, nutritious options, and we also are providing everyone who attends today with um, a food and activity journal to be able to track, um, just tra kind of bring it to awareness. Sometimes people get this misconception that food that's ready for you that you can go out and get is not good for you, and that's a misconception. I mean, you guys keep your food fresh. Talk about that. Yeah, actually, um, all Chick fil A's food is prepared fresh daily um, in the store. And um, everything is, we have so many grilled options actually. We have salads, cool wraps, um, fresh fruit, and everything's prepared fresh in the store daily. So it really can't get any better than that. And you know, one of the things, Beth, that I really like is that your mascot came out. I saw the kids enjoying him earlier, taking pictures. I mean, the bottom line as far as what you feel that people should support and go out and to, you know, eat Chick-fil-A, why? Why? Yeah. Give him that reason why. Well, the cow's reason for why is he doesn't want to be consumed. So he's saying eat more chicken. <laughs> he's all about self-preservation. <laughs> so he's here to just kind of bring that, um, just remind you, like, hey, if you're eating chicken, then I'm safe. So it's, um, that's, that's why he's here, to, to self-preserve. 
Well, that's what each one, teach one. Make sure you support those that are supporting us. It's all about Chick-fil-A. It's your host at the most, Amelia is more, giving you the daily dose. We'll be back.